All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different than our usual pomades. Today we got something in the skincare world. It's gonna be Lehman. So this is gonna be a vitamin C clay mask. Just bear with me as I try and figure out how to kind of review these types of products just because skincare is a little bit different than styling and just hair care in general. So I'm gonna try and approach it with a very similar um, I guess framework as what we do with our palm baits. We're gonna take a look at the design of the jar, just how the process of everything works, um, my initial thoughts on it, and then results if there are any within this given time frame. So if there aren't too many, I guess I can just make another video on a future like progress type of thing. So you guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Today we got Gleeman. So this is gonna be a vitamin C clay mask. I'm just gonna kind of review the product in a very general sense. If you guys need more information, just visit their site at gleeman.com. I believe it's gleeman.com. I hope it's gleeman.com, but if you guys do need more information, a lot of it is online, but from what they do provide you within the actual packaging, um, once you guys get the package, it's gonna be coming in a box with all their branding on it. Once you open the package, you'll see that there's another box inside that kind of houses everything. With Gleeman, it's their main, I guess, stock color is yellow, just because yellow is very vibrant and glowing. And that's one of their like trademarks is that once you use their products, your skin will be Gleeman. So give you guys an idea of what Gleeman is, it's gonna be a vitamin C clay mask with turmeric and aloe vera. So we see that it's gonna be the goal is to instantly enhance skin for a luminous bare face glow. It's gonna be stain free and formulated to work with all skin types. On the side of these boxes, you'll see ingredients as well as how to use. So everything is kind of given to you straight up front. Very simple, very easy. And like, that's something that I always enjoy in terms of like using certain types of products is that everything is just given to you. So not much to figure out. I don't need more to figure out in terms of like skincare because there's just a ton of stuff. So once you open the box, you're gonna see that you're gonna be getting two items within it. One is gonna be the actual gleam and clay within the two ounce plastic container. This falls in line with their whole yellow presentation. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You'll also be receiving this brush, which is a very fine like hair brush. I, particularly never used a brush to put on clay. I've always used my fingers, but once I got this and used it, it did make a lot more sense why this was included. So let's go ahead and go over the whole application process. So once you open the jar, you'll get a whiff of like a very strong scent of like this, almost like a spicy sunblock kind of scent. At first I was kind of thrown off by it, but once you do kind of get used to it, it is pretty pleasant. It's not like, spicy where it's like annoying, but it's spicy where it's like a sharp kind of vanilla soft kind of scent. But it reminds me of sunblock and that kind of scent where it's like soft, buttery. That's pretty much all I can put it as. So application process itself is fairly straightforward. You do not have to put like water on your face. Just make sure you do wash your face prior to using this product. So application in itself, take the brush, scoop a little doopity, a little bit of this clay mask onto your face and paint your face like a piece of art. So the whole process takes about like four or five minutes, depending on how fast you kind of paint your face with the clay. Once that's done, all you got to do is wait about 10, I guess, yeah, just about 10 minutes. I think any more won't do you any good. But to make sure that everything has set in, just kind of like pat around the clay itself to see that it's dried up. And once it's all dried up, you know that it's a good time to kind of wash it off. So once you do wash it off, use warm water just so that it can really wash away all the clay and just break everything down. So I would definitely recommend using this before going to take a shower just because it looks basically gonna be less messy. As you guys can see here, the yellow is getting all over the towel. Um, definitely gonna be washable, but something 
just to consider if you are going to be taking a shower after at some point during the day you might be spreading back that yellow onto like either your face or your hair or whatever so just one consideration with most clay products do that before you like take a shower and it's like pretty easy because then you just hop in the shower and just wash everything off so once that's done pat your face dry just be gentle with your face um i know there's a tendency to just take a towel and just kind of wipe all the water off pat dry your face just so you don't kind of damage your skin it's kind of like scratching your face or scratching your arms and legs once you do that you might like break some skin and just cause irritation and inflammation and all that good stuff so that's pretty much it um, in terms of using a product as you guys can see it's fairly straightforward not too complicated it does feel a little bit spicy on the face just because i don't know exactly but if you guys ever use like methyl based products it kind of feels like that in the beginning but i was kind of scared the first time i used the product just because i thought my skin was on fire just i thought it was reacting but once i washed everything off everything was fine no redness no irritation just everything was dandy so props to that was terrified at first but something to just keep in mind there you guys have it that's going to be the gleam and vitamin c clay mask uh, one thing i forgot to mention is that their ingredients are vegan as well as cruelty free meaning it's going to be organic it's going to be safe for your skin just because it's sourced naturally and all that good stuff um, another good thing about the actual company itself is that it does take a 1% pledge in terms of donating back to the community and working with, I believe the organization was called Kiva. Um, it essentially helps provide financial guidance and just, I think it helps financially with underdeserved communities. That's pretty rad. Um, it also donates to the LA food bank. So definitely a need there. Just know that once you guys do make a purchase or decide to make a purchase, it does benefit other people in the long run as well. <clears throat> so fortunately, no discount code for you guys. You guys are on your own. You guys figure it out. So overall, my skin does feel a lot like more moisturized, less dry. I haven't had like too many breakouts lately. Other than that, let me see. I don't know if you guys can tell. So. Yesterday was a day I didn't use the actual product itself, releasing the vlog. I'll put this side by side. So I just used the product right before <clears throat> doing this whole review. You guys can see. I don't know. You guys make the judgment for yourself. So um, overall, my skin does feel a little bit like calmer, just more refreshed. Things do feel like cleaner, if that makes, I don't know if that makes sense. It just feels like more moisturized more clean so that's gonna be pretty much it so let's go ahead and call it there i'll link everything below catch you guys next time peace